A robbery, carjacking, and bomb scare. Police are still searching for the man who held up this Portland bank, left behind a fake bomb, and then stole a mother's car with her two children inside. To have your children be at risk, that is just more than most parents want to deal with. Welcome, everyone, to Coin Local 6 at 11. I'm Kelly Day. And I'm Jeff Giannola. Now, that bank robbery happened this afternoon on 102nd at the Key Bank branch. Our reporter, Jolie Winaga, has the very latest on tonight's manhunt for the suspect. Pretty scary, actually. In protective gear, this bomb squad officer makes his way into the Key Bank after the armed suspect left a suspicious device behind. The robber got his cash, carjacked a woman, and then sped off in her SUV. Police tried to catch the robber, but he got away. It was like they were chasing somebody that they couldn't see because they were just going every every direction. It's like they're, I think maybe they were trying to corner the guy. Police say the clean shaven white man in his 50s, wearing a ball cap and sunglasses, walked into the branch around around 4 o'clock this afternoon. He demanded cash, got it, then did something that surprised even officers. Then he turned to a woman customer who was in the bank and he said, I'm going to take your car and I'm going to leave in your car. And she said, no, please don't do that. I have my children in the car. Thankfully, the suspect let the two little girls out of the victim's forerunner before speeding off. As a mother and a grandmother, that is probably the most scary part. It's, you know, I mean, that would have been awful. What if he had taken the car with the kids in it? That would have just been frightening. Officers say it was one of the more aggressive robberies they've been investigated in recent memory. The suspicious device turned out to be a fake, but they are still looking for the 1997 Toyota 4Runner like this one, with Oregon license plate 110CYU that was last seen driven by a daring bank robber making his getaway. It's getting scarier all the time. Things are happening here that you would have never guessed. You know, it's always someplace else. It happens down in North Portland or, you know, it's always somewhere else. But getting this close to home, it's real scary. That's Jolie Winaga reporting once again. Crime technicians gathering fingerprints looking for evidence tonight. The good news, no one was hurt, and the search for that suspect continues at this hour.